Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome back to yet another base building survival game. This time, Triton Survival. We're gonna land on this planet here, which I believe is the planet of Neptune or is taking place in like something called the Neptune Universe or something like that. We're gonna build ourselves a base and just like in uh, movies such as the wonderfully fantastic, and uh, by the way, I'm very excited for the new RTS on this one. You guys remember uh, the days of Starship Troopers? I'm kind of getting some Starship Trooper vibes from this game a little bit in terms of us building a base and then have to survive swarm after swarm of enemies. But we're also playing as like a robot too that's trying to uh, basically make this planet safe for humanity, or for at least uh, for colonists to land on the planet and build their own base. Well, without further ado, let's start in this single player, but also multiplayer game. We're going to do a single player playthrough and see what it has to offer, and then maybe I'll give some multiplayer a try if any of my friends happen to get it in the future as it is coming soon. This game's also available on Kickstarter, uh, so if you want to back it and get access to it or uh, pre order, get access now on Steam, you can do that too, so keep that in mind. Thanks again, guys, for subscribing. And welcome aboard to all the new subs, and thanks for smashing like too. Let's jump in and see what this game is all about. Here we go. All right, here we are, finally on the planet of uh, Neptune, I think, or at least an alternative version of what is that? Toxic gases? Uh oh, they're coming right this way. Uh, we better get out of here. There's a car right here. Let's try to hop in this whip and see. Oh, it's actually like a mobile tank. Check that out. Nice. All right, we better get out of here before that toxic gas comes through. Okay, so from what I understand is we can actually build a base in this game that starts out like a fortress, uh, like an old-time fort, where we can just basically put logs into the ground and make several walls around the uh, giant portal there. We want to stop the enemy creatures from getting to the portal, uh, so that way they can't get to Earth. And uh, basically we want to build a base that eventually gets bigger and bigger and uh, more upgrades, things like uh, steel walls and eventually automated turrets and such, but we'll need to research that and also explore the planet to gather all the resources. Think a little bit like, um, yeah, maybe like uh, Satisfactory, where we need to go out and find iron and things like that, but uh, at least that's how the planet looks, though the game functions much differently than that. We're actually a person. Looks like one of our first goals is to get meat, though we kind of look like a transformer or something. Looks pretty cool. We're ready to do some uh, boxing, though. Apparently we're Tyson inside this uh, suit. Kind of nice. We also have a, a thruster which uh, I guess we can use to get around, although uh, once I let go of it, we just fall straight down, which is a little weird. Even if we're running and we use the thruster, we just go straight up, and then I have no control over, like, our movement. Oh, there we go. I can actually move a little bit if I bop the thruster in a certain way. Okay, that's kind of cool. We can almost infinitely stay up in the air. Oh, that's certainly broken. <laughs> we, we never have to come down. Okay, let's land at least and try to uh, do one of our first objectives, which is to kill a bunny or something. All well, that toxic gas is coming back. Let's stay away from that. Where? What are we looking for here? Uh, gather Abdu scan. Uh, it may be stored in your inventory. Press tab and then eat an Abdu scan and then kill a rabbit morph. So that's what I'm saying. We have to kill a rabbit. I think that thing is coming towards me. Uh, what is this thing? The Abdu scan? Uh, this is all the stuff we can make right now in the game. Looks like we can actually plant trees and do farming. So that's cool. So definitely some survival aspects with us having to eat food and farm it too. Uh, different tech tree stuff. God, this gas is... It's its like radioactive or something like that. You can see on the left side, oxygen, health, shields, and then, of course, uh, like radioactive levels and uh, radiation contamination. So we need to stay away from that. Not really nice that that's literally next to the base. Uh, what else do we have? So they said to check the inventory, but I don't see anything in the inventory at all, nor do I see anything in the hot bar. Uh, let's see what else we can craft, though. Uh, water purifier, nitrogenator. That must be used to make... Uh, some sort of a habitable environment for plants or something? Um, let's see, a hydrogen container. Maybe we need, a, like, a nitrogen to mix with oxygen in order to make, like, an Earth-like atmosphere? I don't know. Uh, what about these things? Oh, look at this. We can make tools, too. Vulcan blaster, Vulcan turret. So there we go. We got anti-missiles, uh, too. Anti-something missiles. Mineral extractors, resource extractors. Okay. Uh, I don't know what Abdu scan is, though. I would assume it's some sort of a scanning thing. I don't I don't see anything. There's so much on the screen, I don't even know what to go for first. Oh, we also have skills. Nice. So skill points, we have five to spend. Uh, level two is fuel consumption minus 10%. Oh, am I using fuel whenever I'm, like, zooming around with this thing? I, I don't even see any fuel consumption. There's a lot of stuff on the screen, though. Compass, a time, a countdown timer to the next wave. We have, like, 5,000 credits of some sort to spend on stuff. Lots of stuff to do here. Let's try to do fuel consumption. Uh, it takes two skill points. We have five skill points. Not enough player level. Oh, so we need to be a certain level and also 
uh, have a certain number of points in order to do that stuff. So we have shields, radiation protection, heat protection. Oh, wow, there's lots of stuff to worry about. Holy crap. Uh, players' levels. Oh, we can upgrade our levels. Uh, players' XP. Well, let's get weapons level up. Uh, let's do power and mining. I guess. No, building. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's go with uh, building. There we go. Now, does that increase our player level? Can I spell, uh, spend skill points now? Well, we're still player level one. Okay. Unless it's in different levels. I don't know. Anyway, I'm bored of that. Let's go drive around in the car a little bit. Uh, I don't know if we'll have enough time to actually build stuff before the enemy invasion happens, unless we explore a little bit. So let's drive around in the car. And we can also shoot. See if we have like a 40 millimeter auto cannon on it. We'll have to come back to base later. Now, there's going to be drop pods that are going to drop around that portal later. So we're just going to need to stand our ground against like 500 enemies for the first wave, which means we're probably going to see thousands and thousands of creatures later in the game. It looks like this is pretty important here. Uh, we also need to eat the Abdu scan, which is funny because it's a piece of food, although it sounds like something that would like scan the planet. But let's see what this is. Uh, we'll try to do a little bit of everything while we're here. Oh, we're actually gathering quartz. Okay. So we literally do mining by punching stuff. Okay, this is very Minecraft, I guess. What are these things? These could actually be toxic and or possibly hurt us. Let's see. Uh, resin, fiber are gathered from these. Okay. So this is how we craft. And it looks like we could also make... Uh, let's see here. Oh, here we have stuff here. Quartz, resin, and fiber. So I don't see any of that Abdu scan stuff at all. Uh, but whatever. Let's see. How much to craft a... Uh, what was that thing? The uh, extractor? Where was that thing? There it is. Resource extractor. 25 iron, or uh, 35 iron, 10 quartz, and 10 copper. So if we happen to get more quartz, we'll be able to make that thing. That might be useful. And then that way we can quickly extract uh, copper and iron from the ground. What are we at now? 14? Okay, that's enough for now. Let's keep driving around until we find something interesting. Maybe there's some creatures we can go out and fight. That looks like iron over there, maybe. This car is pretty cool. We'll be able to use it in the defense of our base. Now, is that iron at the top of that little weird tower? Maybe? Oh, this car, like... Oh, boy. It's like we're driving on ice. Oh, boy. All right. Let's uh, reverse. Okay, let's try to get up that hill. We'll use our booster. I see a purple thing over there, too. Whoa. That is a big jump. Can I, like, zoom up here and punch this? Oh, it doesn't let me punch it. Okay. What about this green stuff? I hope it's not radioactive. Oh, it is. It's literally uranium. <laughs> and I'm getting uh, irradiated by standing next to it. Okay, well, that's not good. At least we can collect the uranium and not be punished for holding it in our inventory. Let's get back to the car. So we could probably spawn the wave by now just to see what it's like. I don't even think we can punch down trees to make wooden defenses. Let's see. Uh, oh, we are actually gathering wood. Okay. So what can we craft from wood? Let's go to crafting. Is there any sort of like wall or something that we can make this way? Oh, there we go. Wood barrier type one requires four woods. Oh, we still need to be able to get nails though, which means that we're either going to have to find like a crash site or like a supply crate somewhere that maybe crashed on the planet or we're going to need to make that from iron. So no matter what, we're going to need a lot of that stuff. Yeah, the uh, basic survival food, number one, doesn't seem like a concern at the moment with uh, hordes of enemies about to attack us. I'd say maybe uh, worrying about base defense is a little bit more important than that. What about this? This is giving me fiber and resin, too. These look metallic, these things. Okay, let's go uh, back to the car. Actually, wait, what's in these blue ones? Much easier to do that. More resin and fiber, right? Yeah, okay. So we'll probably be able to use that for something. I wonder if we can get up on those high platforms up there. It'd be kind of cool if we could uh, build a aircraft at some point. But the fact that they gave us a car with, like, uh, tons of ammo is pretty nice. I should probably stop shooting it, though. Wait, there's a rock here. Is that just a standard uh, rock? Yeah, literally just rock. Okay. So not everything is, like, a resource or whatnot. Okay, let's see. Well, rock is a resource, but not one that's probably important at the moment. I see a purple thingy there. Let's try to go punch. That looks like a set of kidneys or something. More resin. Okay, all these are just plants? Okay, I guess that makes sense. 
I don't know if the plants in this planet uh, happen to like live off of iron or if they'd have oxygen on them. I don't know. Let's see. What's inside this thing? Let's actually check this out. I wonder if this will replenish the vehicle. Oh, I guess not. Okay, let's check this out. This looks to be Atomic Particle Accelerator. Hold E. Oh, this must be able to craft uh, extra items. Steel, water purification. Okay. So this is an advanced crafting unit. Okay. And this is the portal back to Earth, which we can't really do anything with. What does that say? Heal? H-E-A-L? Or what, what does that say? One, two, three, four. Oh, I thought it was H-E. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay. So what does this do? Let's take a look at the portal. Oh, we can go to other... Oh, we can build bases on multiple planets. That's cool. So we're starting here. But there are different uh, planets that we can go to. Larissa, they must all have different types of... Uh, yeah, different types of uh, temperature, water percentage, radiation levels. So it's going to get harder and harder as you go on. So we're going to have to make bases at multiple planets until the waves have expired. Looks like the uh, next invasion comes in a day. What the hell is that? Apparently I leveled up. You've raised your player level. Each time you level up, you receive experience. I didn't even do anything. I'm still looking for around for a bunny. I'm sure the Abdu scan is like right in front of me and I'm just too oblivious to see it. But there is a lot of information on screen. Did anything come out of that crash? There is something here. Uh, tin. Okay. I guess that's fine. Oh, more fiber. Never mind. Didn't really need that. Oh, I get experience, though, for that. So, actually, gathering that stuff is quite important, because now we can level up again. Uh, so we can do, like, weapons. Uh, maybe mining level one. Oh, we need six XP for that. Let's do power, then. I guess. base. If we're going to build a base, power would be important. Now, we need to make nails so we can make a, a barrier... Um, but I still need to do this basic tutorial stuff. Oh, I also just noticed the mini-map, but I don't see anything on the mini-map either. Northeast, southwest up there. I wonder if this car can drive around forever. Are we on limited fuel, just not unlimited ammo? Let's see. Oh, no, we don't have unlimited fuel. 47 out of 100. There's also fuel on this vehicle, too, so it either requires electricity. It sounds like a combustion engine, actually. Like, I can actually hear a little bit of combustion going on. It doesn't sound like an electric vehicle. That'd be nice if we could have some solar panels on top of this thing. That, that'd actually make some sense. That actually would be cool if we could do that on this base, is uh, build solar panels and store things in batteries and have laser weapons. Let's try to get up this hill. And is that a creature? No, that's just a, that's just a bush. Okay. All right, a lot of mushrooms. This reminds me of the pl uh, planet that uh, Dr. Robotnik had to go to at the end of Sonic. Okay, there's more quartz here. So I guess really what we need to do is just drive around to find some of this stuff. Whatever whatever we're looking for, we just got to find it, I guess. Oh, here we go. There's some red on that rock there. Oh, is this iron? Thank goodness I plowed into a rock. That actually slows things down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, apparently iron just vibrates in these little cubes. Okay, thank goodness. Let's harvest all of this. Man, I hope that wasn't on my base. Okay, well, with constant meteor strikes like that, we're going to have to worry about... Uh, our base getting hit. Looks like we just got 20 experience points, too. If we're going to build a base, we're going to need a lot of wood and iron, at least for the first wave. That's the only thing I can really muster without too much trouble. This is an alpha version, by the way, made by a very small team, if not just one person, so a lot of forgiving uh, stuff to, you know, to the, like, the UI and the complexity. But what I see here is actually quite promising, and the fact that they programmed multiple planets is really cool. It's actually making me think a little bit like Astroneer, like an def Astroneer defense game. Which is kind of cool. Like, I feel like we're an Astroneer character. We got to worry about oxygen and health. And we can upgrade our characters to build more uh, stuff. Unlock extra things. Alright, how do we craft nails? Is that something we can just craft here? Uh, let's see. So there's missiles, metal extractors, gold extractors. How exactly do I just make nails? Oh, it requires rock in order to make nails? Okay, so we can make a minimum of three. And that's just going to take time to craft itself. Okay. I wonder why we need stone in order to make nails. you think it would just require iron. But let me just grab all this stuff. Looks like we successfully crafted nails. So now we can start setting up a base. Finally. I, I'm, I'm hoping to at least survive my first wave. Oh, wow. We're crafting, like, nails one at a time. I, I hope they're coming in batches like ten or something. 
Apparently we need more rocks too, so let's do that. The more we beat the crap out of this stuff, the more uh, uh, the more uh, XP that we might get. XP points that we can spend on upgrades. And uh, I think we should... I uh, forget the iron. Let's go for trees now. We need to find some sort of wood. Everything else is just a giant mushroom. Let's get back to the whip. I wonder if the mushrooms actually count as, like, wood. Because a lot of the trees on this planet look like the trees on Earth. It looks like we, we're just looking at palm trees. Here's a big tree here, though. So the enemy invasion begins tomorrow at 1335. And right now it is day 1 at uh, 1059. So we've got a while. Once we pick up our gun, then the enemy invasion starts. So at least it gives us a little bit of time to learn what we're doing before we actually do it. Let me craft some more nails. Uh, oh, you can see here we have tin and iron. So your periodic table shows what the item is. Oh, we can actually... Oh, we can click maximum there and it'll do it automatically. That's cool. All right, let's keep gathering more wood. I don't know how many uh, barriers we're going to be able to make, but we'll have to see. Come on, baby. Boxing trees here. So I think if we get that resource extractor, that'll make things a lot faster. Do I have enough to make that thing? Resource extractor still requires copper, so we'll have to find that. That would make our life easier, though. I have no idea what copper is going to look like on this map. Or if it's in different biomes. Looks like we're on the edge of a desert biome right now. And maybe the resource extractor only works for... Uh, maybe it only works for uh, iron or something like that. Or, or rather, uh, what I mean, ore. Maybe it doesn't let us mine trees or something. Okay, there's the whip again. I think I want to head out here and see if there's any copper out in these uh, deserts. There's a few strange looking rocks out here and I'm hoping that there's something other than just rocks holy crap the car really once you uh, lose traction on the wheels it's over <gasps> what is this over here oh yeah it's the plant again anytime I see red I keep thinking it's like maybe it's you know iron or copper or something maybe I drove past some I don't see any I wonder if there's any other hostile life on the planet aside from who's about to invade now. Okay, we're about a kilometer away from Bear. What is that? Hold on. Oh, there we go. What it it just turned into meat. Okay, there we go. Eat meat. Was that not a uh, rabbit morph? That certainly looked like a rabbit to me. Uh meat. Okay. Drag that to the hot bar. Uh, it says, get meat one, eat meat one. That's our goal. Uh, five experience. Uh, well, I ate mate. I ate mate, but apparently it did not work. <laughs> All right, eat meat, I guess, is not a goal that we can complete. Uh, it must be a specific animal, then. I believe that just replenishes our health points or something. All right, so we're going to need to get, like, an oxygenator up at base. We're going to need to build defenses. We're going to need to build a storage area for all of our items. We're not going to be able to hold all this stuff forever. Uh, we might eventually be able to build refineries and stuff at base if the large particle accelerator has anything to do with crafting endgame stuff. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's something that's going to need to be connected to base automation at some point. Look at look at these wheels. I can barely, It's like driving on ice, man. I, oh, I didn't even see that there. World looks beautiful, though. I'm getting, like, No Man's Sky vibes with a little bit of Astroneer, with a little bit of Satisfactory, and uh, some other earlier base-building games that I've played before. Too bad we can't, like, ram into stuff and actually knock it over. Okay, I see more what looks to be iron there in red color. Does copper... What does copper exactly look like? Hmm. Looks like it could just be red as well, which makes it very difficult to identify... Uh, in comparison to iron, and I don't want to stop at every little thing. But let's at least try to build a wall and survive the first wave. Let's just head back to base. Wait, what was that there? Was that another plant? Oh, okay. Wow, I landed it. First try. Let's try a rollover. Oh, it seems like the vehicle's pretty well set up to uh, avoid rolling over. There's another one of those little turds. Ah, I'm going to ignore them. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hard to drive. Well, that's not fair. The uh, toxic radiation cloud is just staying around our base. That's not really fair. Okay, I wonder if uh, asteroids bring in different types of resources that we can mine, too, instead of just pick up one at a time. 
Let's try to build some stuff now. Uh, let's try to build a wall to put around our base. Oh, we can actually build like round walls too. That's cool. Wood barrier type one. Wood 62, nails 180. So it takes seven and three to make those. So let's try, let's just at least try one and see what the whole crafting system looks like. To start with, we're probably gonna have to make it pretty small. Can we craft any sort of, uh, oh yeah, we can build metal walls eventually and then steel walls. So we can eventually build our base out and make it bigger too. Let's build a torch. That'll be kind of cool. Now, is this what we're looking for, this little creature? It doesn't say what it is. I'm assuming this is what I need to kill though for food. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah, there's a rabbit morph. It said it right there. Although, I oh, there it is. Yeah, rabbit morph, male. Is he uh, dead now? So it says, eat an Abdu scan, but I can't kill a rabbit morph. There it is. It's dead now. Huh, whatever. Anyway, I, I'm not here to care about eating food. I already know how to do that in real life. I want to build a base. That's what I want to do. Oh, what is this over here? Oh, that's our gun. Okay. So let's build our base now. So let's see. Crafting is complete. We have our wood barrier. So now how do we go into base building? The game probably should tell us through the tutorial, but that seems a little icy at the moment. But then again, the developer is just launching their Kickstarter, so they've got the basics here. Now they just got to start adding a lot more polish to the game, and uh, that's fine with me. I hope to see it as a success at some point. So crafting, is there like base building at any point? Maybe we have to put something from our inventory into our hotbar. Ah, so we can just build it like this. Wow, that's going to take a lot of work. So rotate with the middle mouse button. Which way is which, though? I don't think it matters, actually. Uh, let's build it around here. These guys might be able to get through these rocks, but we might be able to use these as, like, uh, little uh, blockades or something. So let's put this up. Oh, it's that easy, huh? Okay. Let's build a bunch of these things, then. Let's build, like, a uh, maximum of six. All right, let's build six of those. Go ahead and start crafting. Uh, we're going to have a shortage of wood, I think, so we need to go out and find some more of that while we're crafting. So let's go over to these trees here. Now for the first wave, I think we'll be able to uh, withstand any enemy attack. Now I believe they attack with about 500 or so enemies, so we'll see what the hell. Whoa! Oh, what the, what is this? We're being attacked! COVID? What the hell? Whoa, they're attacking the car. Don't attack, what, what the? Wh why did I fly up all of a sudden? What's going on? <laughs> what is happening? Get in, get in the car. Qu quit attacking my car. What the hell? Get wrecked. Take that, COVID. Oh, hell yeah, level up. Those are the creatures that are going to land on the planet. Get out of here. All right, can I... Oh, that thing's making more. Is there a way to destroy that thing? Oh, the car is smoking. We actually are taking damage. Oh, great. Now I'm out of ammo. Okay, well, let's go somewhere else. Ooh, what are these things? What the... F what? I, what? Uh, uh oh, what? What? Uh-oh. Hello? Okay, so do not hit a uh, frog with your car. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Am I going back to Earth? Where am I? I didn't even see myself on the screen. Okay, don't bump into the frogs. Oh, there we go. Press E to get out. Great, now I have no idea where I am. This is, this is fine. This is fine. Um, oh boy. I wonder if the planet is pre-rendered. Wow, I went 1.5 kilometers away from base. You've got to be kidding me. Are you Are you kidding me? I want to go back to base and build a base. Oh my. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a new game, and I'm just going to hit the go button. We've seen what it's like to build a wall around the base. Uh, I know what I can do, too, is... Can I build, like, a wall where I can actually stand? Yeah, there's actually, a, like, a barrier where I can stand. I'm going to build one of those. Let's see if we can survive some waves in this game. Jeez.
All right, let's just see what happens. Obviously, we could build a little wall around the base, and that would be pretty sweet to be surrounded by all sides. But what we have, which is most important, is a mobile defense, and that's our car. So let's grab the gun here and start an attack. So what does this say here? Uh, launch the first horde. Uh, hold E to activate the horde. Unlock infinite bullet blaster. 12 missiles as well. Oh, good. We get missiles, too. Sweet. Okay. So let's pick this thing up. Missiles and the... And the there we go. Okay, so now it's automatically switched to day two, or at least it's speeding up to switch to day two. So an invasion is about to happen at any time. Oh, there's a bunch of iron around us, too. So I guess the map is the same, but wherever things spawn is different. Okay, so we're waiting for day two. 1335, sometime this afternoon. We should see enemy creatures somewhere. Uh-oh, and the music's changed. Uh, five objects approaching Triton's atmosphere. Okay. So we have five enemy craft. We're in the Ranger XJ-40, which leads me to believe that thing has like a 40 millimeter on it or something. Now, where's the enemy? Watch the skies. Where are they at, boys? I don't see anything yet. Hmm. Any enemies? Horde 5. Uh, 402 enemies is what we're facing against. I, they better not be frogs. Let's see. The music's changed. Oh, you know what? They hide in these little things here, don't they? These little plants that look like pineapples. We have to stay away from those. Oh, there, there's, there's one. Oh, they're, oh, they're attacking. No, you don't. A wall would be good here to funnel them into a line, but I guess they're already automatically doing it. Apparently we have unlimited ammo. Hold the line! Okay, apparently we have unlimited ammo. That's nice. I'm assuming the creatures are going to get bigger than this. Wow, it's like D-Day. Don't let him get to the portal. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, it looks like they're leaving. Can I shoot those things? Oh, they're getting the hell out of here. Oh, great. Here comes that toxic cloud again. Oh. There's actually creatures that'll shoot. Oh, no, they're going to get the portal. No. It's like a turret, turret base defense. Hopefully they got defenses on the other side of Earth. Oh, that's the health of the portal right there, is the uh, 5,000 number in the corner. We just block them with the car. Like a police roadblock, you ain't getting through. All right, I can see the end stages of this game being much more exciting with all the player skills and things that you can actually get. There's a lot of quirkiness and weirdness to this game, but the fact that you can build a base out of, uh, you know, like a wooden fort and then eventually build it up into a giant steel fort with automated turrets and stuff is awesome. And I'm thinking I want to see that and do that, but I certainly don't want to like glitch out on a, a frog and be thrown uh, halfway across the planet to a different area. I don't know if there's a way to teleport back to base, but that certainly would be helpful. Whoa, excuse me. Hello. Okay, now we're upside down. Great. No, this is fine. No, this is working. Oh boy, I hope things are okay on Earth. I'm, I'm sure they're fine. I've set up a, literally a roadblock. They're ra ramming into my car, and, and I hope think I think they're I think hope that they're dying. There's a bunch of them up there. Okay, good. I don't know if there's a way to flip the car over. Oh, enter reset vehicle. There we go. Oh, now I can't move though. The car is broken, I think. Don't attack my base, jerk. Let's get out there with missiles. Oh, the truck automatically fires? Hell yeah, that's awesome. Oh, let's try one of these missiles. That's not where I was aiming, but all right. 
What are you shooting at, truck? Wait, how do I equip the gun? It's not even shooting. I'm left clicking and the gun's not shooting. The missiles are. Right click for missiles. But the gun's not going boom boom. I should have unlimited ammo for this thing. 999. Nine, nine. Oh, there it goes. Now it's working. Get wrecked. Actually, wait. There we go. They're, they're all gone, car. You can stop shooting. Uh, you survived your first enemy invasion. In a few days, you'll receive a new wave, and each attack will be stronger. Build your base and equip it with the necessary equipment. So it's pretty much like with the car being able to auto-shoot like this, it, it seems like you'll be able to defend the first wave without even really doing too much to base creation. So maybe just spend your whole first day gathering a ton of materials, head back to base, and then just, like, the car is going to defend the base, and you can defend the base, and then just go out and gather more materials, then finally build a base. Seems like the only thing you got to defend is, like, the vehicle pad, maybe, for it to respawn if it gets destroyed, the particle accelerator, and then the portal. And then you can build a wall around your out... You build, like, a keep, and then a wall around that, and then eventually build some automated turrets and stuff. Alright, a neat concept for a game. I want to give this one a try again in the future, and I want to actually build a base. So maybe I'll live stream this one, so if you guys want to see more of it, it's a little clunky. It's certainly not, like, the greatest game ever created by mankind, but it's got heart, man. It's got multiple planets, it's got base building, it's got survival crafting. There could be something to this in a few years, especially if the developer keeps uh, keeps it up. Ah, there we go. Got to grab some Wendy's. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Leave a like on your way out to support small creators and this channel, too. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for the positivity and for being a great audience. One of the greatest on YouTube. Thanks again for the support. And we'll see you all next time. What the hell was that? Quiet down over there.